Right, good morning. So I have a question. Hopefully you've had your coffee. So how many of you have been happy about every meal you've eaten over the last week? Raise your hand. If you are, you're in the lucky very few of Americans who are. Um, and what Frank and Rachel talked a little bit about is how convenience can play a role in helping Americans be happy and feel great about what they eat. Um, the, one of the biggest reasons why is that, you know, we don't have time, um, as Dave mentioned, and restaurants are not necessarily serving healthy meals to us. Um, so there's this gap. What you find is that there are seven million vending machines across the United States by some counts, and then there are chains with wonderful food that only have a dozen to a couple hundred, maybe a few thousand outlets if we're lucky. So there's this huge gap in between. And that is why Farmer's Fridge exists. Um, so I'm Shana Harris, I'm the Chief Growth Officer of Farmer's Fridge. We're a Chicago-based um, business. Um, we're in Chicago, Milwaukee, and Indianapolis. And what we've done is we've kind of turned the manu food manufacturing model on its head. So we manufacture fresh, healthy food centrally every day in our commissary um, in Chicago. And we deliver it out to our um, you know, new version of a vending machine, or what we like to call our fridge. Um, so basically, it's 12 square feet. Um, there's no retail labor cost of the fridge. We make everything in-house. We deliver it ourselves. We service the fridges. Um, and so we're basically kind of a one-stop retail shop. Um, we're our own kind of mini restaurant in the lobby of office buildings or an OR operating, um, you know, facing convenience store option for doctors and hospitals. So places that people are working hard, they don't have time, and they're really looking for something to fuel their day. Um, but what we can do is basically scale this high quality fresh food at a lower cost. So our goal is to be accessible and to be convenient um, and to really, as we expand, use economies of scale to drive our prices down. So to really demonstrate that fresh healthy food can be affordable. Um, some of the fun things is that, you know, uh, something we'll talk about a little bit later is, you know, it's a vending machine, how fresh can it be? Um, we have a culinary team in house and we've won tons of awards for the freshness of our food. So, number one, Takeout USA Today. Uh, we've gotten great feedback from Huffington Post, Time Out Chicago. Uh, so, you know, really demonstrating the, the, what's possible um, in a vending format. Um, the other neat thing that fuels our business and really differentiates us is we run on a technology that helps us to um, set a unique planogram at every single fridge so that we're minimizing waste. So those of you in the fresh food industry know that spoilage is one of the biggest drivers of cost, um, which makes fresh food more expensive. And we're really able to minimize that because we run um, based on a, a, a cost functioning algorithm can, that can allocate our product um, efficiently to, to our fridges. Um, so some of the places where, where we operate today, we have over 300 locations. So if you've ever flown through O'Hare Airport, you may have seen us there. Um, we're in commercial office buildings, as I mentioned, hospitals, university libraries. Um, and we partner with um, traditional C stores, so 7-Eleven and Walgreens are some of our partners, um, as well as food service providers. And we're about to launch at the CTA in Chicago so that busy um, commuters can pick up a meal on their way into work or their way home. Um, so I'm excited to talk to you a little bit more. I think there's a lot of amazing innovation happening in this space.